Hello there. Are you feeling like you're in limbo right now? I'm going to talk a bit, a little bit about this today because from what I'm seeing in my own life and the lives of many of the people in my communities and the people that I talk to in real life and online, we are all feeling a little bit uncertain. And of course, we're going to feel uncertain in the climate that we're in right now in the world. But there is a kind of procrastination uh, in this state when we experience limbo. So what is limbo? Well, limbo is the state of indecision. It's where we're hanging. We're kind of unanchored. We're floating around, but we don't have any grounding. We don't have any um, future certainty. And so we kind of are uncertain in any choices we make. We don't know whether it's going to fit into the bigger picture. And so what we tend to do is we don't make decisions at all. And this is the state of limbo. We're hanging there. Now, of course, this brings with it a lot of anxiety. Anxiety is a fear of the future, a fear of some horror story that's going to happen in a future time. We know from um, other discussions I've made in videos that we never actually experience the future. We always uh, only experience it in our mind, in the illusion of our mind. The future never actually comes. So this state of limbo is really a way of treating anxiety with indecision. So limbo is living in a state of fear of something that's going to happen in the future and therefore deciding that it's of no use to make decisions at all. Now, this is going to be experienced differently for everybody, but for the majority of us, not making decisions means that we feel ungrounded. It also means that we don't have like a subconscious driving force or power that drives us forward in our lives. And that is um, pretty much what keeps us moving forward is this idea that we're working towards something, we're achieving, producing, creating something. This is programming. And so we experience indecision as not moving forward, which of course is just simply not true. What is moving forward anyway? Is moving forward, I think, a construct in our mind's eye? Moving forward means that we're not really focusing on the present now moment. The only moment that is real is now and you are not moving in any linear time direction when you are now. So this idea of limbo is, I believe, um, a interpretation of linear time within the three-dimensional reality. It's, it's kind of getting lost and caught up in this idea of linear time and space. And we don't make decisions because we don't know how we're going to fit in with future linear time and space. That's probably a little bit difficult to wrap your mind around and certainly difficult for me to explain. <laughs> But ideally, what we want to be able to do instead of being in limbo is we want to be able to live in the present moment. And that means making decisions without fear of changing trajectories in the future. Of course, whenever we make decisions, we lock into a certain trajectory in our lives and we start heading in a certain direction. But of course, once again, the future is just an illusion. Wherever we're heading is still going to be in any moment right now. And so when we become stuck, we feel like we can't make decisions, it's because we're getting caught up in the illusion of some linear future. I don't think I can really explain this any better. I'm, I'm a little bit um, limited by my words. But what I am trying to say is ideally when we're in limbo, we want to be able to practice being present. How do we do that? Very simply. Now, being present is recognizing the presence of where we are right now. Being present is stepping outside of time and space in a way. Being present is becoming mindful of your body, your mind, your emotions in this moment in time. And so being present really helps you tap into your feelings. 
So when we step out of our mind, which is very much um, exists in time and space only and drop down into our hearts, we step out of time and space. We're no longer able to really function the way we did in procrastinating procrastination and limbo when we live in our hearts there's no space and time there so we can be completely present now a lot of us are blocked off from our hearts and that's simply because of a lot of trauma a lot of um, suffering was experienced when we first initially experienced life in our hearts and so usually this was pre-development when we were children and we uh, learned that it was a scary place to live in our hearts and so we cut that off um, we cut ourselves off from our body and we learned to experience the world up in here in the mind and so healing this state of limbo or if you like moving from the state of limbo to the state of presence is really moving from the state of being in the mind down to moving into the heart. And we need to heal our nervous system. We need to heal the disconnect between our bodies, our minds, our spirits um, to be able to live in our hearts. And so that might involve looking seriously at shadows in your life and how they are stopping you from feeling. And Ideally, when we feel, when we go into emotions of gratitude, appreciation, um, we go into feelings of um, joy and love, we stay in our hearts. And that brings us right into the present now moment, connected to source in union with our creator, uh, the, the field of pure loving awareness. And this is the beautiful state we can be in in this body with this mind we don't need to live in a state of limbo now let's speak practically about the world right now yes it's completely uncertain we do not know what tomorrow brings and we have in our mind judgments of what is good and what is bad but ideally we want to step out of our mind altogether to be able to go back to making decisions to be able to go back to the ability to completely surrender and trust to a higher divine power in our lives and that is true presence so i would encourage you if you are feeling a state of limbo you aren't making decisions about basic needs and and about your career or relationships or you know um your hobbies and and how you have fun or and if you're neglecting these parts of your life simply because you feel uncertainty and you feel like you can't make a decision then it's time to step down from this small self-control in your life. It's time to renege this illusion of control because it's all up in here in the illusion that the mind can bring you the ego. It's time to move down to your heart. Just practice doing that. Practice going into moments of gratitude, appreciation, love and compassion and you'll move back into your heart space, the, the driver of our life in divine flow. And so you can continue to make decisions and knowing that the future is an illusion. Right now is the only thing that matters. And right now you'll be guided. You'll always be guided. You can rest into that reassurance that you are being loved and cared for by your creator in every moment. The best interest for you, for your life. The creator has the best interest for you. You just need to Acknowledge and validate that so that you're no longer being driven by your small self who really is just an automaton. It's just a program. Time to take back that heartfelt living and live from your heart. So if this has been encouraging, please like, subscribe and share and have a beautiful day living in your heart, back here, making decisions, living in the moment. See ya.